Hello, Oikos families, and welcome to episode 11 of the Oikos Family Podcast. Today I want to talk to you about playing. So today's topic is all about play. This might sound strange, considering this is a podcast about helping you in your journey with home educating your children focus on education. (laughs) Maybe you think that play hasn't got something to do with education. But on the other hand, maybe you've done a lot of research or you've just come to understand and know through witnessing your children playing. But in fact, an enormous amount of education and learning is taking place as you watch your children play. Today, I wanted to focus more specifically on you, the mom. I hope it is you, the mom, that's listening today. I wanted to talk to you about playing. You know that your children know how to play. That comes naturally to them. You may also have heard them saying, Mom, but I just want to play. Or when are we going to play? And that is why I want to talk to you about play. Because the weekend that just passed, we had a mom's retreat here at Oikos, out here in the KZN Midlands. And we spoke quite a bit about play and the children and playing and this topic. And most specifically, what I discovered was that the moms were quite concerned about their lack of ability to be able to play. In fact, they even said that they found it difficult to get involved and play with their children. Even to the point where when their children said to them, Mom, can you come and play or are you going to play with us? Invariably, the mother's response would be, no, she doesn't have time or She needs a break or they must go play. She's got something to do. And so there was a lot of discussion surrounding this topic of play. And what we discovered is that, in fact, the moms weren't too sure how to engage with their children in the form of play. So I said to the moms, well, let's start. Let's let's do some practical examples right now. Now, if you can just picture the scene. Um, there we are at a mom's retreat. So there's only moms. There's nobody else present. There's no children or husbands or visitors or friends or sisters or neighbors. Nobody. It's just moms sitting quietly. It's called a mom's retreat for the purpose of the fact that we are retreating from all the daily considerations and responsibilities. And now we're sitting talking about what we can be and do to improve our daily living with our children, to make things better. And the topic of play is foremost in our conversation. So I say to the moms, let's let's start now by doing something very practical. Let's get down onto the carpet. And so we got down onto the carpet as our first step towards actually putting this into practice. Because the moms were, in fact, asking me, how do we practically do this? I want to be able to play with my children, but I just don't seem to have what it takes. I don't seem to have the creativity or, in fact, a lot of the time it was, I don't have the time to play with the children. And so I suggested, why do they not do certain um, lessons that day and rather just play with their children? And then they would have the time. So replace the time they're spending doing a formal lesson with just playing with their children. Well, that made most of them feel a bit concerned about that because what about the formal education and they felt that maybe that was being irresponsible if they put the lessons, the formal lessons aside and played with their children. But I was really encouraging them to please, please just follow their heart and follow that that pull in their heart where they, they're feeling as though they really, really would like to play with their children, but they just don't know how to go about it. So let's go back to the picture of us all sitting talking about this. And then I said to them, let's get down on the carpet. And we got on the carpet and something wonderful happened at that moment. And that's why I'm talking to you about it on this podcast. And that was one of the moms said, it feels like I've taken the adult out. And I thought that was just absolutely the whole point. As you take the adult out for that moment, you sit down on the carpet and you do a puzzle with your children or you play a game, some kind of game, board game on the the carpet, it just seemed to make a difference to get down onto the carpet, get off the chair that you're sitting on doing the lesson or sitting on the couch even or lying on the bed, whatever it is that you were doing. Change your positioning, as in get down onto the carpet and say to the children, 
okay, let's play. What should we play? And you can even prepare this mentally and emotionally for yourself and prayerfully and spiritually. As in, I'm going to suggest now that if you're listening to this podcast, that you take this seriously and you be very intentional about playing with your children and think about it now and consider ways that you can interact with them and engage with them. If you've got children that love playing Lego, well then sit down on the carpet and build some Lego with them. Even if building Lego isn't your favorite thing to do. Or if you've got a little girl that would love to have a tea party, well then take a picnic blanket outside and go and have a little tea party with her or them. I'm not going to go any further with this podcast. I just took a stop there and paused and I thought about it for a moment and I thought, I'm going to stop here because what I'd like to do in the next podcast is talk to you about some more practical ideas of play. I think we should keep this theme and this topic of playing with your children going for a while. So you can expect the next few podcasts to be podcasts of encouragement, to encourage you with some practical ideas and tips and just applying this, playing with your children in your daily living and in your learning lifestyle. So I hope for today, as you've been listening, you will now go and play with your children. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Um, we can really spend a lot of time talking about all the wonderful benefits of playing with your children. But for now, what I just want you to encourage you with is to just do it. Because I believe that once you're doing it, you yourself are going to see the benefits. You're going to experience the fruit of it. And it's going to be something you're going to do more and more and more of. Well, he has hoping that that is going to be the result. So go play with your children. Have fun. And I look forward to speaking to you again in the next podcast. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.